Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I'll be showing you a quick tour of the Wii U eShop in Germany. As it's the last week, it's going to be around. If you want to grab anything, it's open till March 28th. Alright, I thought I'd show you the current bestsellers. I found this fascinating to see what's currently best-selling in a store that's about to close. So to see number 20, the Metroid Fusion, a classic on the Game Boy Advance. And I'm also amused that so many games in here are actually um, titles from older consoles and not actually Wii U titles. It's kind of funny. So Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Erkundungs blah blah blah. <laughs> Let's see what the full title of that is. A fun German store where you have um, really long words, of course, because German likes to have its long words. Erkundungsteam Himmel, nice. So it's an RPG. I don't actually know anything about that, but if it's selling this well, then it must be good. Donkey Kong 64, a classic on Nintendo 64 platformer. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I think some people would say this is the best way to play this game in a modern console. NES Remix is a sweet game by Nintendo where they take uh, little tidbits of old NES games. You like lots of little challenges and it's really well done. I was really impressed by this and highly recommend that. If you want to pick that up before the store closes. Pull Blocks World, I don't actually know anything about this title. Let's keep going. Affordable Space Adventures is amazing. Some people say it's the best three-player cooperative game ever made on, on any console, any system. So I highly recommend this and this was only available digitally. So I definitely picked that up and I know one of the creators, uh, Diana, if you're watching, thanks for the great game. It's amazing. All right. Mario and Luigi zusammen durch die Zeit. We've got a lot of RPGs here. The Legend of Zelda or Ocarina of Time, Nintendo 64. NES Remix 2, it's just like NES Remix, but more games. A Metroid Prime Trilogy, the great way to experience this um, um, Wii collection of uh, Metroid Prime games. All right, more RPGs, Super Mario RPG for the Super Nintendo, Metroid Zero Mission, GBA, Paper Mario, another RPG. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, that's an amazing game. And um, I'd also highly recommend it, and this is also the best place to play that game. There are lots of bangers on here. Yep, Majora's Mask, lots of Zelda, more Zelda. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. So this is personally my favorite Zelda game, and uh, it's the only Zelda I could actually even get into. And it's really neat because you, uh, you get to wear a minish cap and you get to become small and go into like these tunnels and stuff. It's really cool. And the cool thing about the Wii U nowadays is Shovel Knight Treasure Trove is on, on sale for six euros, which is an amazing deal. And some people say this is the best place to play Shovel Knight because um, you get your inventory on the Wii U gamepad while you play the game on the TV. So it was actually designed for a two-screen, well, at least from what I remember, it's designed for two-screen play. If you want to play the way it was intended to be played, the Wii U is the place, and you've got a week left to grab that. And at the top, we've got two Zelda games on Nintendo DS. All right, so you can also filter by other charts. So we're currently on the current bestseller, not the actual bestsellers, the current bestsellers, that's German. Um, and let's also take a look at the at all bestsellers. All right, we're on the page of all bestsellers. Let's go quickly up here. Uh, Paper Mario, I've already talked about. Dr. Kawashima's Gehirn Jogging, uh, Brain Trading in English. Um, it's actually a fascinating game because people aren't typically buying this game because they want to play this game because it was one of the cheapest titles that you could use to hack a Wii U <laughs> back when you needed to have a, an official title to hack the Wii U. So that pushed it all the way up the charts, which is pretty funny because um, that was the only way you could hack a Wii U. All right, I talked about Donkey Kong 64. Fast Racing Neo is so good. It's sort of like F-Zero GX, but with a twist. So there's a game on Switch that's very similar called Fast RMX. So I mean, it doesn't really matter too much whether you pick it up on Wii U or on the Switch. They're pretty much the same. 
Uh, Art Academy Sketchpad is a really interesting concept. Let me go into this one real quick. They um, actually, uh, Nintendo was teaching art. So it's pretty crazy. I might even pick this up before the Wii U store closes. The painting program. That's really neat. Only four euros. Yeah, I think I might grab that right after the, I finish making this video. All right, let's go back. So I can finally learn how to draw, right? Make some graphics for my channel or something. Super Mario Galaxy 2, another classic for the Wii. Mario Party 10, nice party game. Metroid Prime Trilogy we talked about. DuckTales Remastered is really cool. It's a neat way to um, play this NES classic in HD. So um, I'd highly recommend that. You can also get it for other consoles, Xbox. I think it's on PS4 as well. Probably the Switch as well. So it's up to you if you want to grab it here or not. Uh, Best-selling game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Mario Bros. 3. Trine 2 is a neat um, platformer game for um, up to four people to play together. I think Trine, Trine 4 plays up to four people. I'm not sure if Trine 2 does. But anyway, it's a really good game. Uh, platform puzzler. Uh, highly recommended. There's Minish Cap again. Super Mario 3D World. This runs a bit slower on the Wii U than the Switch. So you might want to pick this up on the Switch instead. But also very much a classic. There's Ocarina of Time. A Link to the Past from Super Nintendo. We've seen this before. Super Mario World. One of the few ways you can actually buy this uh, legally and play it. It's right there. Minecraft coming up to number three. It's uh, fun to see Minecraft up there. And I think of it as not being such an old game, but it actually does go back a ways. The Wind Waker 2, a classic again. And of course, number one is Splatoon, one of the biggest games on the Wii U. Uh, I didn't grab it because I'm not a big fan of first person shooters, but I know there's tons of Splatoon fans out there. And if I'm not mistaken, Splatoon never made the jump to the Switch. Just you have Splatoon 2 and 3. You want to try the original? Here it is. Oh, I think it actually requires the gamepad, so you, they couldn't port it to the Switch. i just take you back to the main screen here. If you're curious what the German East Store looked like the last week of its existence, here you go. At the top, you have the um, download code, or you could... Um, Put in download code to charts, which I just showed you, and news, new releases, demos, um, sales, and videos. It's funny they actually have a separate section for videos that shows how old the store is. There's no store would do that these days. They just have the video embedded with the game. So they're pushing their Zelda games. Of course, Breath of the Wild is such a good game. Highly recommended. So you got the bangers here. And I don't think these this has actually changed for like years, because Nintendo kind of wants people to forget the Wii U exists. So you notice that a lot of these games right here were on that top 10 list, and it might be because they were on the screen that they were on the top 10 list. It's pretty interesting. And of course, Mario Kart 8, Smash Bros, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, a nice yarn game. And of course, Wind Waker HD again. And you can also see all the Wii U games on that screen. And then they push, you can buy games from older systems. The so Wii, NES, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. Curiously enough, they also have TurboGrafx-16. So everything's a Nintendo console, except somehow they got the rights to the TurboGrafx-16 games. So that's cool. Um, and also, one of the few ways to legally play these TurboGrafx-16 games without actually owning a TurboGrafx-16. Uh, so, we go back to Game Boy Advance. Nintendo DS is also very interesting because you actually have two screens like a DS would have. So, it's a great way to play these games. And, of course, the Wii, which was already up here. No, this is Wii U. Okay, right. And then the categories, Nindies I thought was cute, Nintendo Indies, calling them Nindies, okay. Nintendo Selects, different genres, and then of course the pushing people to get the Nintendo Switch, Super Smash, Fortnite, Splatoon 2, Nintendo Labo, and 3DS Promotion, and smartphone apps. 
So it's kind of interesting to see what the Wii U is like in 2023. This last week we'll get to look at it, but thanks to my YouTube video, you'll be able to watch it whenever you want. Just to grab a box of popcorn and be like, yeah, let's watch that eShop video about Germany. That's what I want to see. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, well, if you're watching in the future, this historical tour of the uh, Nintendo eShop. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on RG Geek.